I really don't believe in such a thing as uh, social design. The social aspect should be kind of um, integrated in design. Societal, uh, cultural uh, elements have to be incorporated in design itself. So I'm not really a big fan of social design itself. Uh, it should be completely part of every design. Every object, everything that has to be designed needs to have, besides a technological component, an uh, economical component, also a sociological component. If uh, an object is technological, very smart and very um, well thought of and very advanced, but I cannot use it, I don't know how to, uh, I can interact with that object, then it's not making sense. And if it is very expensive, then nobody can buy it. So you need to find each time a kind of, in that triangle, economics, technology, and social, uh, cultural aspects, a kind of balance. Every design uh, includes uh, a social change. Uh, it, uh, every design changes the position between people. Uh, the fact that we are Skyping now and that we are talking through Skype uh, gives limits but also opportunities. So from that moment on, our relation is completely different. Then we would, uh, then the moment we meet, or that we take the telephone, or that uh, we do something else. If we sit around the table, even the shape of the table, uh, if it is a long table or it's a, a circle where we sit around, that uh, that is in fact uh, having an impact on our behavior. So the space, the objects uh, have a, a direct impact on how that we relate to each other. The, the ed academic environment, the schools, the academies, uh, the universities, there the social aspect uh, can be stressed the best, I think, as uh, to start, because afterwards, uh, the technological and the economical aspects, implications, uh, will have uh, um, a higher weight. So the better people are informed uh, how they have to integrate uh, the social and the cultural and the societal elements in the design process itself, the better. So I really believe that education is a, a place for, um, for change, uh, for possible change uh, that's more there than in design itself. The thing is that uh, people still think, a lot of people uh, that are within the, uh, that um, design is still the goal and the objective. Uh, in fact, it's only a tool. Um, uh, design is not the, uh, it's merely a medium, uh, it's not the, uh, the main thing uh, when you do a project. Uh, it's just an element to facilitate, to connect, to, to sit on, to, to lean on, to communicate with each other, and this will change. We have to change uh, uh, the way we look to design. And it's not about um, uh, design itself, it's not about the world of design, it's de about designing the world uh, where we want to live in. I can give you one example, this thing, uh, probably everybody knows this. It's a very interesting uh, product to talk about. Uh, it's a smartphone. It's not, it's not about the fact that this is now uh, uh, a Samsung or an Apple or another one, but it's more the fact that this is uh, a platform. It's not a product anymore. It became a hub um, uh, where we are connected uh, with, uh, with each other. Uh, but this is uh, also having a lot of implications on how that we uh, live um, and how that companies are
coming into our life. How, uh, and we allow that. Uh, so where the boundaries between private and public are completely shifted. Um, so these, um, these products uh, have huge implications and I find that super interesting. At the same time, a lot of limitations, but at the same time, also a lot of opportunities. Sometimes um, uh, I, uh, I see it's really hard uh, and uh, other days I really think, yeah, but we can also do very beautiful things. So, uh, yeah and poetic and uh, and so on so yeah